Okay, guys, we're here with some rug Ragavan Urza's Saga pile. A lot of piles coming out that's like Ragavan Dragon Race Channeler plus Urza's Saga. Some decks play Luris, some decks splash for other cards. Usually the shell is, you know, four Bolt, four in Holy Heat, four Ragavan, four Dragon Race Channeler. And you have your four Ren, your four Bobbles, your four Urza's Sagas, and some Urza's Saga target. And you kind of fill out from there. This list is playing Tarmogoyf, Express Iteration, and Fire and Ice as the fill out. Some other decks are playing, you know, Discard Spells and possibly Luris and some Black Mana. Some decks splash for white. It's really just dependent on what uh, you're doing. But the core idea of this deck is the Dragon Rage Channel Ragavan, the eight red removal spells, and then Ren and Six Saga, plus the Saga targets. So, with that being said, we can find a match soon. We've got a sideboard of usual suspects, you know, Fluster Storm for Cascade, Alpine Moon for opposing Urza Sagas and Tron Lands, Shattering Sprees for the Artifact decks, Pinning Needle is another Urza Saga target along with Rough Progenitus, EE for, you know, Rhinos opposing the Urza Saga, etc. Fury and Prismari Command to round up that. Let's get into it. Relin, almost surely playing Blue Tron. Classic. Kahira. I mean, that could still be Blue Tron. Basically, only exclusively plays Blue Tron, so we'll see what they're actually doing. We will have to see what they're doing. Oh, I mean, I will never. Uh, okay, yep, there's, there's the Tron lands. Let's see if they got turn 3 Tron. Unfortunately, this in Holy Heat, pretty bad draw. But playing Ragavan on turn one, always something that I will love to do. Can't ever really complain about it. You know? Hard to complain about old Ragavan. Well, they've got turn three Tron, which is not a, exactly what we want to be dealing with. But nothing we can really do about it in game one, at least. Let's see what we hit. I do not want to deal with that card. I'm not going to play it for zeros. We have zeros in our deck, so. Lucky that I just don't have to deal with it now. You can always use this treasure to throw a bolt to their face if need be, in case they have like a spatial contortion or something. You know, a spatial contortion would deal with this or some dismember lightning bolt. I guess some sort of removal spell in which, you know, shooting this will actually matter. Plus one of curiosity. Okay. Your mana, what's going on here? Can you hear it at hand? It's not bad. I assume this is gonna get repealed, but you never know. I'm gonna do nothing because I feel like they have repeal. Oh. Shark Typhoon, eh? Can't really cast that one, unfortunately. Play out Ren 6? Could have played Ren first. As playing out Ren first potentially gets Counterspell and make our time with bigger, so. We can't cycle the shark token because it's not in our hand. That is scary. What's this? Hydroid Priestess? Yuck. Classic Hydroid Priestess. I guess let's attack and we'll just have to throw a couple different rule spells at this. It's all on holy heat as well. Fill it. Oh, I didn't fetch first. That was a big mistake. I thought I had to land in the air, but I did not. We can use the treasures to uh, still a Saga. 
Oh, that was a mistake to not fetch. Missed out on one point of damage. Slight mistake. Thought that I had the land in the yard, but I did not. The fan. Fan. Hmm. We're getting that spirit dragon, eh? That is problematic. That makes my playing at Ragavan pretty bad. Actually, the more I think about playing at the Ragavan, was bad too, because you lose the artifacts to make this bigger. I'm not sure we can win regardless at this point. Yeah, I think I can just safely concede. They have six cards in hand. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's not going to be great for me. So let's see, what do we want? Alpine Moon for sure. They have shown us Chalice of the Void. Hmm. The Needle, maybe? Not a big fan of this card. Not a big fan of this card either. A big fan of Holy Heat or Spring Neutron. Our command can deal with artifacts as well. Very no. I can see Fluster Storms. Try to cut like as many of these cards as possible. Maybe keep in maybe Fire Ice. Potentially just like ice them. I'll still be able to damage the face. Eh, not the worst. Not the worst. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll keep this in. Has Alpine Moon, has Ragavan. Like, has a lot of stuff that I want here. I'll bobble myself. Want to? Not really. So I'll just go get Steam Vents here. Play out this turn one, pass turn, and you know, we're in a fine spot here. I'll cut the Aether Spell Ball. I thought I cut the Aether Spell Ball. I guess I didn't. Got a feeling that my Ragavan is not long for this world. Oh, it is? Wow. That is surprising. So I'm gathering this gone. Okay. I'll play out Tarnaboy. Leave up the Fluster Storm here. Very confused what 7 card hand they kept. Very, very confused. Sag off Triumph. Interesting. Start with Express Iteration, I guess, here. This up to my hand, this at the bottom, this in exile. They land out. It's just a 3 4, right? Feel fine about our spot still. Not even better than fine. How's it going, Lamb? Oh, look. Is it Gojira? I think I'm fine countering this. Just like puts even more pressure on them. They don't get to draw a card. I keep my ragman on the battlefield. So I'm still good. So, uh, hit two lands. Hit both gemstone caverns. They would have drawn both their gemstone caverns. So unlucky. So unlucky. Can't catch a break.
not seem to catch a break here. So we're going to play the Alpine uh, next turn. Hmm. Hmm. EP for one. That's no fun. I guess we lose our Ragaman now. Sure. But I can Alpine in them, so they're in, guaranteed to not have Tron. So I guess I have that going for me. I want to crack this, that's fine. They don't want to crack it, that's fine with me as well. Oops. Oh, that was the wrong card. Pull this. There's a uh, power. Well, fetch land. Almost surely just cracking this. Aether Spell Bomb to draw a card. Five, six. Yeah, we're pretty close to just killing them, so that's good for us as well. What are they going to do? Huh. I've got three mana, four mana. Hydro crisis. Just hydro crisis, and we have lethal here. All right, we deal them two. I'll draw a discard, and then we just bounce the crisis, right? Two damage. It's two damage. I will draw a discard. I want to do this right now because the plays around. Okay, this is even better. And then they see, and then I bounce their guy. They're dead. This is even better because um, I do the flush storm. I wanted to play around like random force negation or something. But ended up not mattering, so it's all good. Huh. What? Do I want to change anything? I don't think so. Could change this fire and ice for an holy heat. I think I still want to keep it a fire and ice. Um, turn one Ragavan, not gonna complain. Not gonna complain about my turn one Ragavan. Hand not as good as the last hand was, seeing as we don't have Fluster Storm or Alpine Moon, but still has lots of good cards. But we can just, you know, just get turn three Tron by the deck that doesn't get Tron particularly well, so we'll see what happens. We'll see what ends up happening here. Yeah, I mean, we got turn three Tron twice while we were on the draw versus the deck that doesn't do Tron particularly well. Eh, that's magic for you sometimes. Let's see what we get. Hydro Crisis. So leave that exiled. Being on the draw versus being on the play mattered a lot in this match, obviously. Because if we were on the play, then we would have been able to Prismari Command down this. And, uh, yeah, so, play draw mattered a lot this match. I mean, it matters a lot in most formats right now. I'm going to snap off killing those. Do nothing. 
I'll probably attack, see what they do, and then if they do nothing, I'll just Prismari Command on their turn. Prismari Command on their upkeep, so if they do have to use this to like save it. There's such shark type in here. Obviously that kind of sucks, but nothing I can do about that. Um, my hope is they block here. Here, so that. Actually, no. Don't want to do it like that. Because I want to use the Versus Saga. Even though we lose out on a point of damage, it's acceptable. I should have played my my Versus uh, Saga first. Not sure why I didn't do that. Play no Force Negation. Need to dodge Ugin as well here. Like, we have plus Ugin. They just went like tank, 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 bring cool Ugin me. I'm gonna be a little bit upset. Hmm. <clears throat> Another land here would be kind of nice, but I'm gonna attack here first. They don't do anything, then I will not do anything. I'll just play Ursus or Misha's Bubble. But if they do something here, then I'll like run in six, replay this, especially if it's repeal. Obviously, another Shark Typhoon hurts here a lot, but I mean, nothing I can really do about that. Just kind of the beats. Yep. I guess I could have played out Aether Spell on first. That was kind of a misplay by me, and now I think about it. Could have played around this a bit better. Could have also played, like, Express Federation. Yeah, there's a couple ways I could have played around this. I didn't think about that until it was too late, unfortunately. Let's do this. I know I'm wasting, like, a Lightning Bolt versus just minus in here, but, um... I think getting out more lands is going to be important since we're going to be here as a saga. This. See what they're drawing. Alright, guess I just lose. They just, you know, have draw on turn three. Not much to be done. They're just going to win me down. Is there a way I could have played around this? Even if I ate their spell bomb, the token, they're at seven, they just have Ugin. Just lose anyways. Yeah. No big deal. Just getting Tron. They decide to turn three Tron, and their deck that does not get Tron particularly well in two of the matches. Not much to be done. Could have um, Harder Mulligan for an Alpine Moon, but I think we're supposed to keep that hand that we kept. Just. Caught being on the draw versus Tron when they have turn 3 Tron. That is magic sometimes. That is modern, specifically. But a lot of games are nowadays dictated play draw. And that was one of them. So hopefully we get to win the die rolls a bit more often than, uh, than our opponents in the future games. I would appreciate that a lot, you know? <laughs> I would appreciate that a lot. Hmm. Can we find another match in a reasonable amount of time? That's another question you must ask. Another question you must ask yourselves. Can we find a match in a reasonable amount of time? Hmm. 
Views are getting a bit longer because they're not like because uh, the way they changed like the the, the pair up algorithm which really sucks. Like they made it so it has to get a certain amount of people in the queue and then it fires them all at once rather than uh like firing when you know what you like find a matchup. Well, the basic forest that was like anything but basic forest is a snap keep like any of my other lands. The only land that could cast drag on turn one. I'll keep this to shadow spear. Opponent said today is the day to play versus streamers. He said Spike and then me. It's kind of funny. Celestial Colony today. Hopefully they're not on like a lot of Chalice of the Woods because that would be unfortunate for me. Okay. Um, I'm just going to Steam Vents here and then I'm going to Ice their land. The Saga's not a bad pickup here. Not a bad pickup at all. I guess I will start with a Dagon Dragoman, see what they do, and then Express Iteration. See if I find anything good. Steering Forest, okay. Express Iteration. Put iteration to my hand, bobble on the bottom, Dragon Rage Channeler in exile. Play out Dragon Rage Channeler, then play as a saga. Let's start getting that going. Feels like it's gonna be hard for us to lose in this spot. Be a bit difficult for us to lose, as we have an incredibly good start. Incredibly good start here. Very time rambler. What are they gonna bounce? Sure, that's fine with me. I'm gonna kill off the Teferi. Have a Saga keep going. That Ragavan. And pass the turn. I could have dashed to possibly found something of theirs. Not sure though. Coffee and can, thank you for the follow, I appreciate it. I don't know if they're playing any field of rooms, but I might as well play around it while I can. Let's do this. Obviously the disaster next turn is them having um like verdict. Hopefully they don't have that. This, then I'll go get Aether Spellbomb, probably. Actually messed up a little bit here. Cryptic Command, a tap all creature to draw a card. Alright, so they all surely have Verdict now. Spellbomb. I should have tapped differently so I could have played Steam Unstabbed. Slight mistake on my part. But they're almost sure they're going to bounce or kill my board here. Oh, okay. That is somewhat surprising. I don't think denying the draw here is that important. This. If I can, I want the to tap them out of mana so that I can like just kind of spell. Okay. Wow. 
that's pretty bad for me. This looks very, this, um, I shouldn't, uh, I guess it doesn't really change because I still want to shoot up the ragman. Um, God, I'm losing a lot of life here. May just die to this in the end. <laughs> Yeah, those are not so bad draws. I think I've cost myself like four life that I didn't need to cost myself this game, so hopefully it doesn't come back to hurt me. Wait, wait. Arc me just charm like that. Took to play to run six. Top that. I think just playing out these creatures is good. And then we can go for like double bolt next turn when they tap when they have to tap out assuredly to like deal with this. Okay, that is irrelevant. What is their hand? Very, very confused about what their hand is right now. Okay, Myers. <laughs> My opponent is dead. Heck no. I will lightning bolt and they will maybe have force negation. Let's see. What? That was a weird game. I feel like I should have been way farther behind than I was, but it ended up working out for me. I think I need any of those. I think Pithy Needle is like, I want a target that I want to go get. And if I don't get that, I'll get, get Bobbles. I guess Soul Guide Lantern is not that bad as well in case we steal up their yard for some reason. Um, any other card I don't particularly want? I mean, Ice is kind of medium on the draw. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Don't want Alpine Moon, don't want Fury. Yep, this looks good. I'm gonna go use the bathroom really quickly and I'll be right back. I'm gonna go pee. Well, this hand sucks. Does not cast her spells. This hand does cast her spells. We'll ditch this card. I think Fluster Storm is going to be significantly better. I have not had particular fun playing those decks. The Grixis Lyris one, at least. Red Black Lyris is like fine. Red, blue, white, black, red one. So they've got Counterspell in their hand. That's good to know about. That is good to know about. I assume this is dead here. Makes sense. Uh, 
I think next turn we can just press Federation maybe. Maybe I want to wait one more turn actually. I think I'm fine waiting one more turn for the Express Federation, because I don't want to like Express Federation and have to flesh the storm to counterspell it. Just shark type me for one. Sure. I don't care. I do not care at all about that. They probably don't have another land. They don't. Feels bad for them. I have a lot of lands I don't want to draw, unfortunately. I mean, I have to imagine they're going to counterspell this. Oh, Fluster Storm. Oh, they've got Fluster back. Okay. They really do not want me to play that. Yes. I don't think they'd have. Counterspell plus Fluster. That's interesting. That is not what I expected at all. Huh. They got me on that one. They got, they got me on that exchange. They got me on that exchange. Wow. They're, they really want to draw lands. They're really not hitting them. Draw something good. That's something good. That was something good. Just getting rid of this. So my run just gets to keep going up after this. Nothing new about that. I guess I could have held my holy heat. Now that I think about it a little bit more, <laughs> I didn't realize that delirium. Uh, who needs to hold an unholy heat? You can just do this. Am I right, guys? Who needs to hold it when you're just gonna rip it off the top? Never punished. The thing is, I like my run and six is always gonna be down at that point. Didn't make that play. It kind of sucked, but I think it was a necessity. I will land this Lusty Storm here. My opponent is desperate. Yeah, I have nothing going on, and I do not want them to get to whatever they need to get to to have something going on. That's something. That's a start. That is a start for me. Sucks. That kind of sucks. Yeah, this. All right. I'll plus again. I guess I should probably start my thing, seeing as I only actually have one fetchable land left, and they're almost surely gonna crack that EE. They just have like kind of spell up, right? Yeah. So I should have probably just minus. Ren is a broken card, and you're right. I'll fluster again. I don't want to get another dramatic ending target. What? Oh, yeah. I'll do this. I'm gonna do this regardless. There's no card I could possibly draw to make myself not be bad. I 
I will let myself draw that card. Actually, I'm gonna draw it right now. And play out there as a saga. Did I not attack first? I, did I not attack first? Am I an idiot? I swear I attacked first. Oh, I should have attacked first and Misha Bobble out. Yeah, yeah. You're right about that. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. You're right about that. They are looking for a land. Pretty bad. I literally like didn't even think about the Misha's bubble like attack first. I think the two extra points of damage is not as important as playing around like a Supreme Verdict here, so I'm gonna play around a Supreme Verdict here. I think that could be bad here is like playing into cryptic command a bit more. But they haven't really cast out of their card and I expect them to have more verdicts and cryptics. I'm gonna do this. It's not like I don't have the mana to be able to cast all the spells that I want to cast. Do this aiming to fairy to fairy hero dominaria. What do they have here? I'll do it. Right. It does get me a little bit, but it's not like I won't still have Ren and Six stuff. I didn't want to dash this, because, like, I thought it was most likely not going to accomplish anything. I guess it would have, but, you know. Got our engine. I was told that this engine was like unbeatable in the late game, so we keep having run six plus eight so it's pretty hard to beat. Right. I am I, I am super far ahead, right? Okay, we're one and one. Not bad. Hmm. What did I lose to? I lost to Blue Tron that just Tron me on turn three. Just like Ugin to me a couple times, like Ugin me on like turn four or five. So they just had incredibly good draws. When I think it was game three, they went. Uh, they were on the play. Mood Joe and I think for the follow, they went on the play. Turn three Tron, play out a Talisman Shark Typhoon for a four four. I killed the shark and the. Artifact they had, but they did get a block by Ragavan. And the next turn, they, uh... They cycled another Shark Typhoon as a 6-6, and they played Ugin the next turn. So, I just unfortunately could not beat that one. Could not beat that one. It's a little bit too hard for me. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Don't play exclusively Blue Tron. Sometimes it can be a bit spicy. Yes, no, nah, he plays exclusively Blue Tron. Blue Tron tries to spice it up a lot. I think it's. Is my stream decker like still broken? It still like doesn't automatically come to my chat. It's really annoying.
getting a lot of gifted subs recently to streams I basically don't watch at all. I got a... I got gifted subs to to streams I do watch as well. I definitely got some gifted subs to streams I don't watch. I've been, I've been hitting some gifted subs. I got one just now to convert Go Blue, and I never watch him. Got one for Summoning Salt two days ago. Got one from Empty Nerd Girl three days ago. Got one from Zen92, and then one from Mitch Flower Power. Like some, some streams I don't get to watch all that often, some streams I don't watch very much. I got some. It's just it's weird. I've been I've been hitting some luck on the gifted gifties. Mm. Yeah. So more later. Oh yeah. Well, I got the same thing. I see some streams I've like literally never seen before. I like don't even watch. Don't kill my ragaman, please. We're actually just against burn. This is great for me. If I can just fire this immediately. Oh, I should have played for this log there. That was a mistake. That was a mistake. Two. Okay, luckily nothing happened, but even though I turned off all the yields and attacks on my screen, it still wasn't quick enough. Yep. Oh, I'm very punished for not playing that Urza Saga. Oh, I'm incredibly punished. See, do we have anything good out of the blue for this matchup? I mean, like, Fury is okay. Plus Storm. Oh, yeah. Of course. Like, it's yuck. Yeah, we basically put ourselves one turn behind by not playing the Urza Saga on the one turn that we did. So, they're trying to it all day. Thanks, man. Oh, uh, I always wonder the people who like gift subs a lot, like I could not imagine gifting a sub basically ever. I don't think I've ever gifted a sub. It took me many, many years before I ever subbed to anyone even. Subbing I think is completely fine. Gifting a sub is like a bit much and donating is a bit much for me. Well, if they have, like, Boros Charm, I'm in a pretty bad spot. If they don't, I think I'm in a completely fine spot. Well, I drew only lands this game, I think. Except for maybe that Fire Knight, I can't find it for you. Oh, I have Shadow Spear in my deck? Okay, never mind. This, this, this game's over. I forgot about this one. I always forget I have Shadow Spear in my deck. That card is broken in this matchup, let me tell ya. Not sure they can beat the old Shadow Spear. Not sure they can beat the old Shadow Spear. I mean, I, I, you know, I'm not gonna complain about anyone gifting subs. I'm just not at the level that, you know, I've got the money to throw it around as well as, you know, the dedication to any stream where I'd give subs. If I had a lot more money, I'd be much more willing to, you know, give subs or use it more frivolously, supporting people. I like the spell one kind of sucks, so that land kind of sucks. Shadow Spear obviously the nuts here. Express Federation, man. <laughs> the worst. Let's see. So this move Federation instead of Traverse. Awesome. Yeah. Traverse looked really bad. Probably can cut an Express Federation here, actually. Like, the traverses didn't make much sense to me. Like, the only time I really want to play traverse is if I'm going to go get, like, Death Shadow, or have, like, a toolbox that makes sense for it. Besides that, I think tra traverse, like, for Ragavan or Dragon Rechandler Tarmogoyf isn't quite it. It's 
Especially when we have other mana things. I mean, it could be fine. I don't know. I just don't think it's quite what I would want to do. Makes me more susceptible to graveyard hate as well, which we're already kind of susceptible to. I have to keep this in. I'm not particularly happy about it. Kinger, do I want Urza? I don't think you want to go that high up on the curve. Don't want to just have Thought Monitor for sure. You're not going to have enough artifacts for that. Do we it? Right here. Hmm. Ragman's better against Searing Blaze. Oh no, it's better against Eidolon, worse against Searing Blaze. Hopefully my opponent doesn't have uh, Eidolon. That is the card I need to dodge with Sam. Pretty badly. That's not a bad draw. Would have liked to have that in my opener. Land Eidolon, I'm ready. Land Eidolon. Let's see it. Ooh, no second land, maybe? That's what I like to see. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I think just going towards Shadow Spears is probably the best thing to go. Almost surely the best thing to do here. Yeah. Stick me next to you. All I want is to be next to you. It's just storm. That's something I like a lot. Um, got rid of the land from the land. Uh, I don't think I want to play Dragon Rage Chandler out here. I got much for there with Lester Storm open. If you shoot my Ragavan here, I'm even more excited than I was previously. Some shelter. I'm gonna fade away. What are they thinking about? Hit my rag? Are you gonna hit my rag? Shooting me? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I love how I hit their land off the top so they don't have a third land now. Alright, GG's opponent. Spear. There's a saga. Sacrifice this. Put the shadow spear on here. Gain some life. Have fluster storm open. Seems pretty good to me. I would say that we are uh, likely to win this game from this spot. Fortunately, they kept a one lander, and then I hit their lands, so they didn't draw them. <laughs> and now I've got fluster storm open. So even if they draw like land shatter, or not shatter, it's free. Well, Shining Speed works as well, but Smash Smith Arenes for my Shadow Spear, I'm just going to fluster it. And they are D.E.D. Dead.
shooting my Iron Man? Okay, I could care less. I could care less. Scoop-a-loop. Let's get him. Easy game, easy life. Yeah, I want to queue again. I gotta use the bathroom again. I gotta pee. I'm just going through all this water I'm drinking. Be right back. Got back just in time, perfect. Got back just in time. I'll keep this in. It's a little bit, I don't know, it's a little bit meh. A little bit medium. Looks like we are almost sure the against rhinos. What I'm seeing here. What do we have on the board? Just flusters? Okay, not the worst. Dead and gone. That's not fair. I'm gonna fire ice them. Kind of drew all of our one of spots where we did not quite want to draw them. Gunstone cavern is okay. Um, blue, let's see if we can find it here. Put right into my end this bottom of this exile, play it out. Don't really need to crack the Misha's bobble. My goal is to get big enough artifacts to play around. Okay, that is somewhat annoying. Surprised they did that. It makes me think they have more of them. I'm gonna be kind of screwed. Regardless of what I do, I think at this point. We'll see. That is an interesting one to have. But we drew every single one of our targets. I think I'm just supposed to be making an Urza Saga token here and then making another one next turn. I'm hoping that, you know, I get to block this profitably. I guess is I mean, if they have Violent Outburst, I'm going to pretty bad spot regardless, so I think I need to try and just block this. Or they just have the written bar over here. That's pretty brutal. Pretty brutal. Uh, yep. I don't think we actually have any odds here. Yeah. 
I guess I can do this. Just dead to like infinite different stuff still. Really dead to any burn spell, any removal spell, violent outburst. Basically counter spells still. Alright, yeah, you're dead to you're dead to that as well. Cluster storms, EEs are what we're looking for here. What we are not looking for. So we'll guide lantern, drum. Um I can see myself cutting some bolts as well. I kind of like ice because I can ice them on like their turn two or their turn three. Huh. Well, I have Ragavan on the play, so I'll keep it. Don't have Dead Gone opponent, else I will be sad. Let's see, got on top of our deck. Copper Life Gorge. I will accept Copper Life Gorge. Alright, it's not the worst card ever as well. Um, too much treasure though. Yeah, that sucks. That sucks a lot. Huh. I guess I will do this then. Got punished for going for the steam vents instead of the copper line, or instead of the steam land. Oh, okay. So that uh, that's fun. Put this into my hand. It's in the bottom. This exile play out Urza Saga. Play this down. Attack for four. And now we've got Fluster Storm. Oh yeah, feel pretty good about our spot. Still pretty nice about the spot. Let's cast Fluster Storm. That is the best possible draw on my deck. That's nice. That was the best possible draw on my deck. I'm not playing at all. Fluster Storm you again, opponents. Yep, these crashing footfall is out of here. Scoop! Scoop, 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 scoop. Um, do I want to change anything? Could bring in Furies and, like, try and hardcast them. It's kind of like a one-for-one, one, but it's a one-for-one one where I'm trading down two mana and have to help, like, don't have, like, any sort of counter spell or rule spell.
Hmm. Hmm. I don't think I want to. I think ease and flusters are going to be where I'm going to get my, you know, ability to answer what they're doing. I think both of those seem completely fine. Um, I have Fluster Storm, but we don't have Blue Mana. I will reluctantly keep the sand. Sand can go bad a lot of different ways, but I think I have to keep it rather than mulliganing to five. Mulliganing to five will just end up putting me in a worse spot. Alright, hopefully this Ragman gets to hit. Nice. Keep bringing up worth. Drew another Ragavan, which does nothing. You're in not the greatest spot right now. Not the greatest spot to be in right now. Most likely representing a rhinoceros attack, sneak attack of some sort. Hmm. A sorcery instant in the yard. Almost gets me to where I need to go, but not quite. So I will attack with just Ragavan here. My Ragavan dies. It's not that bad for me. Why are they doing it now? Oh, Why would you do this now in the beginning of my upkeep? So weird. I'm gonna attack with Ragavan still. Expected this one. Now oh, I have a Tarmogoyf big enough to block their Rhino. That was my goal. I take out the Sprintly Drum. It's kind of a spot where I would want it. Sure, that's fine. Doesn't actually change the board state at all, I don't think. This. I may just tap this for one mana here. Not 100% sure. Depends on what I draw. That's fine. Yeah, if I could have Spring Leecher, but it could be pretty good here. Make a token. I think it's tapping for mana, like, doesn't actually get me anywhere, because there's nothing. So it just makes it so I can't. I guess, no, it does do something. It does do something. I'm just going to tap for mana here, actually. Get Shadow Spear, play out Renin 6, plus here, play it, equip Shadow Spear, and hope to god they don't have a way to bounce this. I don't know if this is correct or not, but it seems fine enough to me. 
obviously a lot can go wrong here, but my hope is that the things don't go wrong for me. This could just be dead and gone, or like, stomp or anything like that, but I think I have to make this block still. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Such as this one. Oh my God, I just messed up. I was not supposed to do that. That just lost me the game. Okay. Oh, yeah, I lose now, don't I? I had my idea, and I just messed it up. Okay. I was supposed to unholy heat there. And leave the mystery force in the yard. I don't think I can win anymore. Yep. Because I'm just dead now. So they just attack and I can't kill anything. I needed to kill this, keep that in the yard, have a three three and a two one. Wow. That was so bad. I just I just I literally was thinking about what to do and then just did the complete opposite of what I was thinking. I literally thought about it for a while too, and just just completely completely whiffed it. Completely whiffed it. Completely whiffed it. Yeah, that was, that's disappointing. That is disappointing, to say the least. That was, <laughs> that was bad. Spell in. Yeah, I guess I could have done that. Of hope to surveil. Yeah, I should have played to hoping to surveil. I was just a bit upset that I messed up and would have had to put myself into luck territory rather than, you know, skill territory. Portable hole? Come on. That is bad. I needed that Dragon Rage Channeler without my hands looking now. I need a little bit of help. Come on. I need a little bit of that help. What's happening to me? What's my opponent doing? Give me some goods here, deck. That is not the goods. This is not quite the matchup that I needed to have happen for me. Okay, well, I mean, there's a card that I can do something to. Don't put Sword of the Meek in the yard. Don't put Sword of the Meek in the yard. Don't put Sword of the Meek. There it is. I think I am just dead. Yep. They just Sword of the Meek. Dr. Foundry combo me out. Too nice. That was a nice curve out by them. Let's bring in some artifact here. Roll and put the needle. Bring in the EDF. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. 
Do this. I think this is fun. I think this is fun. Zero lands, no go. Okay, sand. I'll ditch a time of glyph. Yeah, I'm supposed to ditch next best iteration, seeing as I'm going to have to do this, but I hope my Ragavan can make things happen. Hole again. Well, that ruins my game plan, doesn't it? Much land. I'll play a rag man again. Got another portable hole, you know. Sucks to suck, doesn't it? star. Alright. I can beat Chromatic Star as their play. Land. If I could cast it, I would. I'm supposed to do this. Look for... Put this to my hand, this on the bottom, this next to There we go. This, play out turn with, play out Fisher's Bobble, and then pass it There we go. I did it correctly. I did things in the correct order. <laughs> Very time after, right? For land tier, we're of invention. I can do this spring leaf drum. Play out running six here. Good. Minus here. Attack. And get rid of the word. Okay. We're in it. We're doing it. We're doing it. This is not. Wait. Oh, no, it's not. Did I not update my stream decker at all? Did I just have it wrong this whole time? My bad. This is what it's supposed to be. Now it should be updated. There we go. And bottom exile plus there's a saga. Saga attack. Oh, wow, I just didn't attack with that. Oh my lord, that's so bad. Okay, well, now that we haven't attacked with that, I guess we're doing this.
That was bad. Well, I punted off pretty badly by just not clicking, right? Missed four points of damage. Let's see how much it'll end up hurting us. Hmm. One one. I can kill it with Ren six at least. They can at most get two more one ones. Okay, that doesn't really matter to me either. I should have lethal next turn because I shoot this down on a holy heat. Whatever they make next, then we have a bunch. So. Unless there's something I'm not thinking about. I guess they could have Path to Exile. It's possible, but unlikely. Oh no, they can't because of Defense Grid. Except Lethal. Have the guaranteed Lethal. No, I get. Oh, no, no, no. I guess they could have Solitude here to get me. That is unlikely, though. Oh, no. They sacrificed Portal. Okay, never mind. They can't have Solitude. They could have had Solitude second this, but unlikely for them to have that in their deck. Um. I could bring in an EE. -E. Wanted to keep an unholy heat for Urza. That was kind of what I wanted it for. Birds, kind of. Do something like this. Let's try this out. Where's your Norod? Mm -hmm. If I had it, I would. <laughs> the entering spree is good, but not good enough for me to keep this hand. A hey, basic forest, huh? Really on that? That again? Hands are not being cooperative at all. So bad this deck. It has come up twice already this league. This cheap travesty. Well, wish I would have kept whatever card. I can't even remember what I bought. I guess it was a bleed or lightning bolt over an express iteration. Ooh, that's no fun. Classic. These draws are just so brutal for me. That's annoying. My Urza, wow, they didn't bounce my Urza Saga. That's crazy. That's good. I'm gonna be Urza Saga, I guess. 
so. Hoping that they weren't going to do that, I didn't know. Because they didn't bounce Sog initially, so I thought they wouldn't do it again. Uh, I'm doing this, I think. Am I supposed to express federation there? But I don't think so. Not that right. I am. Stop to never, never land. What up? How's it going, space? Okay. It doesn't do much at this point, but you know, do something hopefully. I'll attempt to attack the ferry here. Some hot wings, not bad, not bad. Second welding jar here. That is unfortunate. Getting crushed on like tempo, but they aren't actually like doing anything. So I'm not that concerned yet. There's definitely some concern to be had, but not quite yet. That is a concerning card. It's a very concerning card. Not gonna leave up mana to do this because um, we have blowing jar out. But they allowed me to do this, which is nice. Or foundry. Okay. Maybe we win this game. Uh, I just got an answer immediately. Oh no, they have the spell ball in play. Okay. Well, they can still bounce my pithing needle. It's problematic with the Teferi. Forgot about the Aether spell while I was on the battlefield. <laughs> <laughs> but that still only gives them three Thopters. So it's not the end of the world. We can still win this game. We have four Thopters. Though if they just play Urza here, then I'm just dead. Which it looks like they're probably going to do. It's like they're probably going to do that. Oh. oh, okay. They didn't. Thank God. So I'll do this play around Metallic Rebuke. Okay, first. We expected. See how the order here. Actually, now I just realized I shouldn't have made the extra construct. I should have shot to ferry for two with the Prismari command and destroyed Doctor Foundry to make them have to use the welding jar as well. Make a shattering spree down the line also better for us. Now that I think about it a little bit more, I think that's what I should have done. Doctor found. Display out wife. Pass the turn. I'm going to go use the bathroom 
I'll be right back. Getting rid of that bolt instead of the Express Federation also hurt us a lot here. I got a bit of a longer bathroom break here, so I'll be right back. Okay, I tried to finish that up as quickly as possible, and we're back. A lot of spaces just went off. Sorry about that. E for one. Okay, I'm dead. <coughs> I am dead now. Well, that was anticlimactic. <laughs> but that's how it goes sometimes. Unfortunately, a 2-3 with this deck, you know? Not the best. Got screwed over by the basic forest a couple times. Had some misplays myself. But if you like this video at all, if you liked anything that I did, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitch and Twitter in the description below, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.